she really was considered by many of the artists in the Northwest, what we call an artist's artist. She refused to teach. Uh, she lived below the poverty line for years. She felt that artistic practice was a calling, almost a spiritual calling that demanded daily attention. Uh, she was either gardening or she was working. And I think a number of artists, A, were envious that she made that choice, but also that she really did put the time in. She was very rigorous. And she, she didn't move off uh, this vocabulary of, of forms that she was building, uh, this abstract language that she created. She would come back years later to a theme. And I think a lot of artists move, you know, as, as they respond to what's going on, they move from uh, idea to idea, sometimes media to media. And she never did that. She, she went deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's very hard to do. She builds her paintings. Um, she's, she, you know, she really has this deep understanding of the dynamics of, of uh, uh, pictorial construction, of how the eye moves from left to right in the West, um, patterns, dynamics. Um, these all came out of her training with uh, Laszlo Moholy Naj in the 40s. But very interesting to me how she comes to this sort of minimalist language through her own Bauhaus training, through her understanding of spirituality and, and composition and dynamics. And by dynamics, what Moholy Naj was talking about is, as in music, and we often say that, you know, because we don't have the right word, we often say a painting resonates, which is actually an audio term. Well, the fact is, Moholy Naj and, and Mary Henry believe this, talks about these dynamics in the universe. These are all things that we see in dance, music, in nature, these same kinds of movements of energy. This is what Mahalia Naj was talking about, and this is what Mary Henry is all about, and this is what the pieces give back within people's homes. The little pieces, the little drawings, give off a vibration that is, is profound, and you can really see it again in how she worked those drawings. She, she was stippling and, and, and building up these layers, and uh, they have a profound kind of, they, they come to you. How about that? Instead of being a big deal, this is the other thing I'd say is very relevant. Instead of being a big deal, big noisy deal, they're very quiet, but they're present and they come to those that are willing to give them some time.